Major Slack videos. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Borderlands Pistolero build. And since this build is going to be centered around building up our weapon pursuit weapon proficiency, let's get some um facts out about how proficiencies work right now. First of all, weapon proficiency is awarded whenever you make a kill with a certain weapon. How much proficiency is awarded is determined by how much XP was earned when you made the kill. And only the weapon that makes the actual killing blow is awarded the proficiency. So for example, I'm working on my pistol proficiency, okay? If I go up against a boss enemy and I use a sniper rifle throughout the whole fight until the boss is down to his last little bit of health, then I take out a pistol and finish him off with a pistol. The pistol gets all the proficiency and the sniper rifle gets nothing. That's the way it works, okay? It's the weapon that makes the killing blow. And um, grenades, melee attacks, and action skills have no proficiency. so. Any kills made with grenades, melee attacks, or action skills will award proficiency to the currently equipped weapon. So make sure that when you're throwing grenades, you have a pistol equipped if you're working on your pistol proficiency. All right, and that is about it. Um, basically, one last thing if you're like faced with a whole platoon of enemies um, on like way under level, like you know, they're all giving up like one XP each. Um, this is going to give you very, very, very little proficiency. It's hardly even worth the trouble. You could kill like a hundred of those enemies and your proficiency will only move like a little tiny little bit. So you should carefully consider which enemies to kill. Don't like, don't just automatically kill every single enemy in the game. It might, might not be worth it as far as like, you know, let's say your XP per minute rate, you know, like if, if your time is valuable to, when you, to you when you're Borderlands gaming um yeah so that's it so that's it let's get underway this is the tk and nine toes run we have we just came back from our million dollar power start and we're up to level eight and we have three spare perk points let's put them all into gun crazy next um i just want to quickly spend six golden keys to see if i can come up with a better repeater I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like farm forever. I'm just gonna like, you know, I've got space to hold six items here. Six keys. If I get lucky. Fine. If I don't, I'll just move on. I do have this repeater that will It will suffice. And we're not getting lucky here. I'm gonna sell all these items. Come on, baby. Give me some pistols, 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 SMGs. Come on, baby, two more. Here we go. Lucky seven. Here we go. Come on. Baby needs new shoes. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Yep. Oh. One more. And here we go. Come on. This is it. Come on. Le what is this? Okay. Shields. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Actually, use this. Wow. That's actually a pretty good score. Alright, that's it. Okay, so now if you've been following this walkthrough and you've been using the Violence Revolver. The Boom Goes the Dynamite Challenge is almost complete. This is where you get the 25 explosive kills. Right there. If you use the revolver to kill every single enemy that we have encountered so far, it's always exactly 23 kills. So, two more kills. And then we're going to switch over to our pistol and start working on the draw challenge. And the Skag Slayer challenge. There we go. Boom goes the dynamite complete. Okay, so, draw challenge. Get 50 kills with pistols. Five skags always come out of this hole every single time. There we go, that's five. And we're working on the fixer upper mission. We have to go get some parts for the vending machine. There's always four skags over here. Let's use them. One, two, three, and four. That's it. Let's quit. 
travel back to Firestone to get all the skags to respawn. Okay, plunk the part in, and now we have to buy a shield. Um, actually, this is just... Let's do this, do what I would normally do anyways. Um, instead of buying a shield there at that vending machine, you, could, you should go to the Underdome. They have much better shields available. But I already have a good shield, so I don't think I can improve on that. Let's just, just for posterity, check it out. Well, I'm going to have to buy one anyways. Anyway, so I'll buy one, a cheap one in town. And while we're here, we should always look for number one, any revolver with the scope or any Vladov pistol, a level 10. And we don't have one, so let's sell all the stuff that we picked up from the Golden Key. Let's see, a better recharge rate or more shield. I say a better recharge rate. The answer to this philosophy is tech plus ammo capacity Every good. equals I win. Next. Oh, something I forgot to do. While you're at the Underdome, everybody's going to be in the same position here with a couple more challenges. What do you challenge screen? Go to the bottom, scroll up. Two challenges here, two commerce challenges. Gunrunner, uh, sell 20 more items and good consumer buy 43 items. We can complete both these challenges and earn a quick 4,000 XP by simply buying and selling a whole bunch of med kits. So let's do that. This will take like a minute. That's twice. I have to do this three and a half times. And this should do it. Listen carefully. Hear that? We just leveled up. That means we just... We just um, got both those challenges. So let's sell all these except four. Keep four. There we go, so we leveled up, got a quick 4,000 XP, put another point to gun crazy, check it out. And there we go, good consumer is now completed, and gun runner. Next, back to Firestone. Okay, let's go. Just purchase a real cheapo shield. I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. Like that one. I might not have a med school machine to sell but when you get shot, there we go. Mission complete. And we got the blinding nine toes mission. People don't yet trust you. If you're going to ever find the vault, you'll need the aid of the people. Helping Doctor Zed with his nine toes problem is a good move. Okay, continue to work on the draw challenge. 50 kills with pistols. And the Skag Slayer challenge, which we can complete with the exact same shots. 50 Skags down and out. Another challenge we can complete in there, the Chain Killer challenge. Kill 10 enemies with only 7 seconds between each kill. So these Skags, let them follow you. Kill the Skags. And kill the bandits. Yeah. 
Shoot them all. There we go, chain killer. Don't worry if you don't get it there. I'll show you another place where it's easy to get that, that challenge. Hold still, vermin. And that's everybody dead. Let's open this chest to help with another challenge. So many to choose from. And that's that. Let's quit the game to get back to Firestone very quickly and to respawn all the skags. What can I do for you? Okay, new mission. Nine toes. Meet TK TK Baja. <laughs> More crack of this. Come on, pistols, pistols, come on. Nah. Alright. Actually, this repeater isn't bad. It's got a scope. I'll give it that. Okay, same deal here. Five skags here. This is a gimme. And one more. Sometimes the fifth one doesn't spawn. There we go. That's that. Actually, this pistol isn't bad. And to hell with him. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got a nice scope on it. You! One more step and it'll be your last! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> oh, I get it because you can't see, right? Ha ha. Okay. Like off world. Okay, TK wants us to recover some of his stolen food. This is another time where you can um, easily get the chain killer uh, challenge. That is, kill 10 enemies and have only 7 seconds between each kill. What you do here is you let all these skags follow you. Don't kill any of them. Have them all follow you. And pick up the food. One food there. Two food here. Make sure they're following you as you go all the way down here. Free food here. And also here. See, now we got a whole bunch of skags grouped together. Plant yourself right beside the skag hole. And let them all have it. And you should easily complete the chain killing challenge if you didn't before. Let's just do a body counter. Three, six, nine. Trust me, I've done this many times before. You always complete the chain killer challenge there. I have a uh, I have video proof of that. <laughs> Completing it um, with those bandits there, that's kind of a new strategy. Actually, uh, that's something I forgot to mention. I've actually overhauled all my a lot of strategies for this walker a ton of strategies you're not a skag are you no here you go you're just stolen the food it's got a little bit of skag slabber on it but it should still be good Okay, once again, we'll quit the game and reload, get quickly back to Firestone. You've done well. I've decided to reopen my Firestone Now we have to buy a grenade, so to you, gotta throw a grenade to get rid of a grenade. Some new gear. If you wanna get to the boat first, you're gonna 
And what do you got? Oh, sweet. I'm gonna buy that, yeah, even though it's level 16. Put a lock on you, make sure you don't accidentally sell it, and... Excellent. And the hearing's like, just one more chance, come on, come on, one more, one more, come on, come on. Come on, pistol, come on, pistol, come on! Oh, uh, Get some kick-ass purples, everything but pistols, though. <laughs> okay, um, grenade purchase, we have to go back to TK. Five skags here. Come on, doggy. Sweet. Here's the pop dog. Boom! <laughs> Here we go. The draw challenge is complete. And the Skag Slayer challenge should be completed shortly after. Okay, new mission. Nine toes, take him down. This will take us into Skag Gilly. I only shoot Skag. Well, mostly, anyways. <laughs> TKs are right, I love him. Okay, Skag Slayer. Nope. There you go, Sky Slayer done. That is it for the challenges until we get um, the Clipper. We can continue to kill Skags to work on the next, like, I mean, the next, next level up. As far as that challenge is, I think it's called Sit, Stay, Play Dead. Sit, stay, play dead, kill 250 skags. It's like totally doable, but it's just gonna take a while. Now, as far as killing skags, especially these low level skags, the game has already taught us how to speed kill. Let's just like apply that strategy and let all these skags pile up instead of stopping it going. You know, hearing all the skags pile up. Okay, this is part of the challenge or part of the uh, quest. And get the ladyfinger. Please have a scope. Looks like it's got a scope. Okay, this is a way better pistol. Yeah, there we go. And the next level of pistol challenges. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> is size doesn't matter. Same thing. 250 kills with pistols. Now that could be either revolvers or repeaters. So that'll help with that. You are about to face your first real challenge. I hope you've toughened up enough. Now the lady finger has extra critical hit damage, so of course aim for the head. Oh really? Pop goes a weasel on that one, eh? Pop goes a weasel. Okay, nine toes. New strategy. We have our grenade count maxed out. Let's just spam all eight grenades at him. Hey, why not? 
And like I said, pistol proficiency will be increased simply because we have the pistol equipped. Here we go. All nine grenades. Or rather, all eight grenades. And that's all she wrote. Quickly grab the clipper. This is a kick ass weapon. The stats look terrible on it, eh? But I finally figured out what it is with this weapon that makes it so kick ass. This will take us all the way up to level 17. This will handle any skag the game can throw at us all the way up to level 17. Even Scar. Even Moe and Marley. Or rather, the one that's not um, a fire skag. I think it's Marley? The other one is a fire skag. Yeah. And the thing about it is, I finally figured out what it is. It has a long burn time. That's what it is. It's a hidden stat. That's what what makes it so powerful. So do not, I repeat, do not throw this away. Do not sell it. Do not throw it. It's a kick-ass skag buster. The best. And we're going to be using it extensively. So Starting now. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And Pinky and Digit wall. always give up a couple of purples, but they're usually really crappy. Huh, they didn't this time. Okay, let's just open this chest to help with that particular challenge. I don't really expect anything good out of this. And that's that. Quick way to get back to Firestone is just quit the game. This will take us back to the beginning of beginning of Skag Gully. And then we can use the fast travel system to pass through the Underdome to get back to Firestone. Whether you are killing bad guys or exploring the unknown, you need a trusty How about a bouncing bitty I can use now? Beautiful, great. Thank you, game. What's the matter? Oh, I don't have room. Okay. Beautiful. Great. Yeah, you're looking for one of these. And remind me to stash this. Whoops. Yeah. That's a grenade mod. Yeah, you're shopping for any level 7 or above Bouncing Betty or Explosive Merv. And let me just stash that level 16 Bouncing Betty. Very good. Once again, looking for any revolver with a scope. Anyone. No scope. No scope. Or any Vladoff pistol. Hopefully, preferably level 10. No luck. Just curious what they have in the way of shields. Already have a pretty good shield. And that's that. Yeah, hopefully we'll run into a, a badass Skag later on in Skag Gully, and I'll show you the clipper in effect. I took down a badass Skag, I think it was like a level 9 badass Skag with like, I don't know, maybe 30 bullets from the clipper. It's insane. If you use it right, it's it'll burn it right up. So yeah, hopefully we'll run into a badass Skag in our run through Skag Gully. I just want to quickly sell this junk here. I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. There you go. Okay, so back to TK. Now that we have the clipper, and it's basically a fire weapon, we can work on three challenges at the same time. We can work on the hot, too hot challenge. We can work on the pistol kill challenge and we could work on the skag challenge all with one weapon so that's what we're doing now granted you may not get a fire kill every single time 
you use the clipper because it doesn't always set everything on fire. I would say about two thirds of the time it sets things on fire. So right now we're working on this, hot too hot, get 25 fire kills. And after that we'll be working on toasty, get 250 fire kills. Um, and like I said, the 250 pistol kills and the 250 skag kills. All which can be accomplished with this single weapon. And a run through Skag Gully and a run through Lost Cave. And I've completely revamped my strategies for Lost Cave. I'm going to show you how to just totally pwn Lost Cave with the clipper. All those alpha skags that you run into in the Lost Cave, I figured out the whole thing. It's get you, you'll see. No more running around like a chicken with his head cut off. You're not a skag, are you? All right, mate. I don't know. No? He takes a sniff. Now look at you. <laughs> Get your nose out of there, TK. Come on. <laughs> what are you, a dog? <laughs> okay, and that is it. We can go back to Firestone. Finish this off. Yep, that's what I was working on in my like personal project time. I took the time to really do a close analysis of a lot of the tough spots in the game. Because I was thinking, you know what? Running and gunning is for chumps. <laughs> I hate running and gunning. Well, I'll let's be let's apply some strategy and do an upgrade. Good idea. Okay, TK has more work. Catch a ride near Firestone is more busted than my mama's girl parts. Real appreciate you taking a poke at that. Uh, the system, not my mom. Huh. That dog down the skag den, you know what I'm saying? Hot dog down the skag den. Okay, there's our five kills there. Let's just turn this in. Bonehead's theft is on board, but we're going to wait until we get to level... 11. At level 11, the violence revolver will be able to easily kill Bonehead. No problem. So all we have to do is just get up to level 11. And we're going to do that by taking a run through Skag Gully and killing Scar and getting all those blade flowers. That's coming up next video. Let me just finish off here. Get those missions on board by seeing TK. Hey! Hey. Come over here and chat a while. Okay, hang on. Just let me take care of a little business here. here. Die, doggy. Here comes that band, okay. Thanks. Okay, two new missions from TK, and we have leveled up. Let's put one more point into Gun Crazy. Yeah, this also helps with the clipper. It turns the clipper into an absolutely fabulous weapon. So we have two new missions. Both of which we're going to do, these two side missions, by the Siege of Your Pants and TK's Life and Limb. That's coming up next video. I, uh, and I that's going to kick off in way. Firestone. Let me just go there now. Same thing with Skag Gully. I've worked out some really kick-ass strategies. Instead of just running and gunning like a maniac around all those Skags, let's apply some strategy. Do it up right. That is coming up next video. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.